It is currently Sunday, which means we are doing a day in the life. Let's go. Now, I know you guys saw in the last video, we were literally driving this car in the rain for miles, right? Look, car's not even dirty. Doesn't look touched by dirt at all. Matter of fact, it looks like we just washed it. Legit, the only part that's dirty is this part right here. But this part's always dirty. Like, literally dirt just sits right here. Even when I don't drive in the rain, this is always the dirtiest part of the car. But look, the wing's not even dirty though. That's crazy. And we have nobody to thank but these two companies right here. So I started using this one recently. It actually works really good. Uh, I did use this one, Meguiar's one. The only difference is this one's mad expensive. This one's like $20, $25 or so. This one's a little cheaper and it works just as well. So when we come back, we're probably gonna assemble this. This is that shelf little movable cart thing that we got from my parents when we were up in Norco. We're gonna see if we can put that toolbox on there, that toolbox on there, pretty much everything that you see. We're gonna try to put on there and kind of tuck it in the corner just so it's a little bit more organized in here. I am sad to report that our friend has returned. Airbag light came back on. So basically what happened, which I know for a fact it happened, the connector that's inside here came loose that triggered the airbag light, which is kind of annoying. The reason why it keeps coming on is because it keeps losing connection is, and it's really because of the harness that they send to turn off the airbag. It's not, it doesn't really do its job. So you kind of have to like rig it in a way so that it does. I know how to fix it this time so it never comes on again, but it's been a minute since it came back on, so I know whatever I did last time technically worked. It just probably came loose as I was turning the wheel so much yesterday. Ugh, I hate that bump. I was chilling on my couch last night, right? I was just enjoying a movie, trying to relax, chill, whatever, right? I get a text on my phone and it says, you have reached 100% of your gigabytes for your internet. At that point, I had no internet. So not only could I, I could not finish my movie, but I had no internet, so I couldn't go on my phone, none of that. And keep in mind, like I live in an apartment complex, so like service for your phone's not the greatest because you got all this stuff happening around you, right? So I was so over it. So I woke up today and decided to get new unlimited internet for the place yo i'm really excited about this it's weird how you're adulting and you just get excited about the little things like vacuum cleaners freaking internet food um organization just all that stuff but this is part one as far as adulting for today the second adulting thing i had to do today was buy milk take me back to the time where all i had to worry about was the next performance mod i was going to buy now it's buying milk we will be canceling this internet. We gotta take it back. I am very, very happy to see this go. It does that when I need gas, so I think it's like the safety feature or whatever, so I should probably chill. Yep. You guys know the vibes. You know the vibes. This is a uh, weekly thing. More like a bi-daily thing every other day. This car sounds so good. I love this car. I say it all the time. You guys hear me say it all the time, but until you've heard this car in person, 
you haven't heard this car. And if you heard it in person, you know what I'm talking about. Just pulled up to T-Mobile because we have to return our old internet. And we ran into, I think that's a 128i, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Homeboy's on the freaking HREs. No way. Okay, I see you. So something happened yesterday for me, which would be last Saturday for you, that we need to talk about. So as you guys know, we went to a Cars of Coffee yesterday. Again, it would be last Saturday for you guys. Went to a Cars of Coffee, and it was in Aurora Hills. It was in the LA area, LA counties. I don't really remember the name of it. So that meet was two hours from my house, right? But everybody was meeting up in IE, also known as the Inland Empire, right? They're meeting in a city called Ontario. So I was like, okay, either I drive two hours from here to the meet or I drive an hour to Ontario then another hour to the meet. It's the same thing. So why not cruise with everybody to the meet? It's more fun, right? Get more content, yada, yada, yada. Right, so I go to Ontario, meet everybody there, right? So the time comes where we roll out. We're driving, it's like maybe like 10, 15 cars, right? Probably even more. Driving on the freeway for a good amount of time, right? Well, out of nowhere, a cop comes, or I think he was already on the freeway or he comes on the freeway. He turns his lights on and at that moment it was me, the GTR, well it was me, a GTR, fresh kicks and like maybe one or two other cars, right? So the cop turns his lights on and he like gets in between me and the GTR and he's like swerving to slow traffic down and I kind of fall back because I'm like, oh shoot, like is he going to pull one of us over? Yo, there's a cop up there that's swerving. I don't know why he's swerving. I don't know if it's because of us or if it's just like a coincidence. So then he does that and it creates a big enough gap between me, the GTR, Fresh Kicks, and everybody else where like I kind of lose them, right? So then everybody's passing me up. The, the cop finally like turns his lights off and like he goes wherever he goes. So everybody's like passing me up and it starts to like sprinkle a little bit. And then out of nowhere, I see everybody exit. So I'm thinking that's why they were exiting. I was like, why is everybody exiting? The meet's still like 25 minutes away. So then I stay on the freeway, I go to the meet, I get there, and I'm like, bro, there's nobody here that I cruised with. You know, there's still people there because people who came from like the LA area, all that. I'm like, bro, there's nobody here that I cruised with. Like, what the heck is going on? So then I park, you know, and I get out, and then maybe like five, 10 minutes later after that, everybody shows up. And then literally five, 10 minutes after that, that's when Fresh Kick shows up. And so he parks next to me, the meet goes on, you know, I walk around, get some content, talk to a lot of you guys, shout out to you guys. And then uh, towards the end of the meet, Fresh Kick ended up telling me that he got state ref. I'm like, bro, no freaking way. So basically what happened was, I guess when everybody went to that second meet, they were meeting up with other people and I didn't know, I didn't get the memo, so I kept going straight. Keep in mind, I was right behind Fresh Cakes before that cop did the little swervings, trying to slow traffic down. And so, if I would have, because again, I was right, I was right next to him. So if that cop would have never done that, I would have been right behind Fresh Cakes, and I promise you guys, I most likely would have got safe breath. Because you guys know, whenever there's a car event, I'm always, I'm always the example. It happened at Monterey Car Week. It happened at Lake 2 Good. Oh, yeah, sure. Thank you so much. No problem. Do you know why I'm pulling you over? I don't. Okay, your modified exhaust. Okay. Did you make that modification or did you buy it like yes, that? Yes, I did. You did. And I, I would have bet everything it would have happened then too. But the fact that that cop did that, slowed traffic down, created a gap. I didn't know what was going on, so I kept going on the freeway. That's literally what stopped me from getting a state ref. I say all that to say, everything happens for a reason, bro. Everything happens for a reason. It's crazy. Time has come where we have to build this guy right here. I'm actually really excited for this. Actually, I lied. There's still like a ton of other things I have to do. I still have to cook for myself because, you know, adulting. I still got to set up the internet. I still got to edit tomorrow's video for you guys. So I think we will save this for the next video. But talking on that event yesterday, it was it still blows my mind the amount of love that was shown yesterday. It was insane, bro. Like, shout out to you guys from those who met me, that supported me already, the people that didn't even know me, met me yesterday for the first time. Absolutely insane. I appreciate you guys. For real, for real. Like, for real, for real. For real, for real, for real. <laughs> but it was crazy because um, the, the people that hosted it, so it was Garage Collective. I think that's what they're, they're called. Garage Collective 
hosted the meet, but they had it at Tent World. So I met the, I don't know if he's the owner or if he's like, he's part of Garage Collective. I met him yesterday. He was like the person that was like in charge of the meet. Met him yesterday, it was pretty cool. I ended up finding out, I did some research and found out, and I could be wrong, but the same guy that was there for Garage Collective, I think he's a part of Enosatech Raps. I could be wrong, but according to my, my research, that information is true, which was interesting. So I met him yesterday, very cool guy. And then we ended up meeting the owner of Tent World. So when Fresh Cakes had his car in the air trying to figure out why it wasn't boosting, everybody that was in the shop that was around his car, he gave all $75 gift cards to Tent World. But this is all that I have for you guys. I will catch you in the next one. Peace out, stay safe, and stay tuned. Whoa! Who knew I would make it this far? They hated, they never believed me. Yeah, I would never drop the ball. I know I make it look easy. Yeah. Mayweather with the defense. I don't care what a critic got to say. I got him picking up the pieces. Got to me, you really playing with your life. I'm about to come and run it all back. I'm the new ever about to snap back. You ain't fitting for it because you all cap like.